are from NCDCC and uh, we share similar backgrounds and experience. Currently, we are studying in Nanyang Technological University, majoring in Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering. Uh, yes, and we are both honorary officer at HQ NCDCC, and before that, we were both a cadet and cadet lieutenant with NCDCC also. My general experience in NCDCC was great, and uh, I will say uh, they have taught me a lot of skills, ranging from soft skill to hard skill. Soft skill, I will mean the presentation skills, and for hard skills, it will be more of the triangle of life, the basic firefighting, first aid, CPR, and AED. Okay, as for myself, um, the majority of NCTCC has uh, been very great and has bring a lot of, exposed me to a lot of things like outdoor sports and also kayaking. And uh, I've actually benefited a lot from this. Yes. Do you like first aid? <laughs> uh, at the first place, not really. La. It's quite a very boring topic. But as we go, progress, we start to understand what's really going through the human body when you do a CPR, how CPR can really help, and uh, how AED can increase the, the chances of survival. Then that is where you start to, I start to feel uh, first aid and CPR is really very, very useful. I will say NCTCC have made me uh, more responsible citizens. So for example, back a few years ago, uh, there was a fire that happened at my block. We were st studying that night and we heard some commotion outside our house. So we went out and took a look and there was a fire. What we did is we called for a fire, we called 995 and we actually filled uh, some bucket of water and helped to extinguish the fire. The SCDF arrived after a while. And that has taught me to be more ready as a citizen. And such that I'm bringing a first aid kit now wherever I go. Yeah, without joining NCDCC, we might not know what is the correct number to call in the event of emergency also. In NCDCC, throughout the four years as a cadet, we are being exposed to kayaking courses, one star, two star. And subsequently, as a CLT, I was also being exposed, given opportunity by HQ, to attend a level one coaching course. And uh, it also gave additional exposure for me to deliver kayaking lessons to the future cadets. Uh, future cadets that is actually attending the courses. And the level one coaching course have uh, allowed us to get our first step into the working life to experience what is it like to be held responsible for the participants under you when you are in the working life. All right, for me, uh, as a second round student, looking at the uniform officer, it always has, it's always uh, some inspiration. Uh. So uh, for me to join NCC, NCDCC in SEC1, it was more of uh, finding them inspiring. That's why I put NCDCC as one of my choice of this year. For myself, uh, I'm very impressed by the booth that was being set up by my seniors. And during the CCA fair, I was quite impressed by the fire engines, by the firefighters that was actually present on that day itself. I will say that uh, not to give up, right? Because uh, me, personally, as a cadet back in uh, secondary two, uh, when the first time that I took a CPR course in HQ, uh, I failed numerously uh, until the point the training officer had come to talk to me personally and try to encourage me. So my, my advice here is uh, don't, don't give up when you fail at the a, at a first try. Right? If you continue to practice, definitely you are able to be, you're, you'll be able to succeed. My advice for the future cadets will be always daring to try. Okay? We all know that the first step out to try is always difficult. Just like you when you do a flying fox. Okay? The first leap to jump out is always very scary. But what happens after that on the, when you are down the way is always very pleasant. So once you dare to try, you step out the first step, what comes next will definitely be uh, pleasant for yourself. Mm -hmm.